my true sentence is to live with this for the rest of my life. For the first time, we are hearing from the DUI driver who killed a local man during a wrong way crash on the I-5. Lauren Freeman was officially sentenced in a plea deal to 11 years and 8 months. Our tennis reporter Michael Chen was in court for Freeman's tearful apology. I can tell you it was wrenching inside that courtroom. We heard from those closest to Justin Callahan and then from Lauren Freeman herself. I miss him so much. From a mother. I just start sobbing. Usually when I'm by myself and a father still grieving, emotional family and friends of Justin Callahan talked about a life cut short in July. Lauren Freeman pleading guilty to several charges, including gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, agreeing to a sentence of 11 years and eight months handed down today. I'm not happy with the with the plea bargain. I think that she should have more time behind bars. This video shows the aftermath of the wrong way crash in 2018 on the ramp between I-5 and I-8 near Old Town. Callahan heading home in the Jetta died at the scene while Freeman and her passenger in a Toyota Camry suffered serious injuries. CHP initially thought Callahan was driving the wrong way, but months later reversed course. Prosecutors said Freeman had a 0.28 blood alcohol level. I will forever be haunted by the choices of that night. Freeman, emotional throughout the hearing, spoke to Callahan's family. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me one day and know how truly and deeply sorry that I am. Her lawyer spoke of her hope of educating others about drunk driving. Tommy Villafranca is Callahan's brother. She understands that she can't bring, you know, nothing's going to bring Justin back, but, um, but uh, I believe that she will honor his memory. And remarkably, Callahan's family say they would be willing to be side by side with Freeman down the line when she decides to educate people about the dangers of driving under the influence. Michael Chen, 10 News.